Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead episode 11 for this series and if you can't tell, which uh, you should be able to, <laughs> there's sound. I got the sound working somehow, I don't know, it was really just pure luck. I turned it on I think or something and then messed around with some settings and then restarted everything like three times, I don't know, eventually it, it worked. So now we have sound effects. So we've got sound effects for walking and uh, we got music opening doors so yeah lots and lots of sound effects now you might also remember last time we left off um we got pretty beat up by some acid zombies so a lot of the plan this time around is going to be to try and get better because we're not doing too hot i don't even know if i can sleep right now i'm not sure if i'm even tired So I can't sleep. That's fine. We're going to go ahead then and drop some stuff. We've got lots of food, so let's go store it. Start with the perishables. I mean the non-perishables. That's what I meant to say. We eat the perishables because they'll go bad over time so that got rid of all that there and let's see we're hungry we'll go ahead and eat a fruit pie the music's super creepy by the way put some two by fours there I think now would be a good time too for us to go ahead and maybe smash some of this stuff up because we don't need it all here Uh oh. There was footsteps. If somebody comes down here, we're done for. We're in so much pain right now. If the wrong zombie stumbles down this way, it's over. Like, seriously, it's super over. This music is, like, horrifying. But it really does uh, add to the atmosphere. I gotta say though, is there any way for me to turn it down? It is a little loud and I never really messed with. I, I never really messed with it enough to see if there was even a way to do that. Music volume, no way. Because the music and sound effect volume is a little loud. Okay. Not sure if that helped or not. We'll find out. Good. I can pick up lots of 2x4s now. Oh boy. I don't like the fact that there's like zombies right above me. You know what happened? They followed me. Yep, they followed me. Because I fired all those shots off last episode to try to survive. They must have tracked my scent back to this house. We might be shooting our way out of here. But we're not going to do it now. I am keeping my weapon on me. How much ammo do I have in it? Nine rounds? Yeah, I am keeping the weapon uh, the weapon on me. Can I actually reload that? What if I... Unload it. Let's move into ro the room here so we know we're safe. And then mess with the reloading mechanic, so... Okay, unload. Okay, that gave us the Stanag magazine. If I take the magazine and unload it. Okay, and then if I take it and reload it. I can reload it with the 556 five, NATO. So let's do that. And then if I take the 
and I reload it. Nice. So now we got 30 rounds of 556. Five, is there any more 556 five, here? There is. It's a little bit different though. Okay. That's fine. Okay, drop all our nails here that we've picked up. And let's go ahead and light a fire. So we're gonna do a little bit of practicing. I guess with the shoulder strap. Oh boy. Is it gonna stop or no? Okay. Oh, this is gonna be a mess. Repaired it, damaged it, repaired it. Okay. Tailoring's level three now, though. So this is a good sign. Do that again. This episode is going to be a little bit um, less climatic because um, we're too weak to go anywhere. And with all the zombies it sounds like are upstairs, yeah, we're definitely not taking any chances. So don't expect me to be doing anything too crazy this episode. Oops. All right. Look at all that noise. All right, we made our shoulder strap extra sturdy. That's good. So that means we're starting to get a lot better at this. Let's give it a shot on our long sleeve shirt here. All right. Okay. Let's give it another shot. At least for a bit. What is our tailoring? At level three, it might not. I just want to see because I want to repair our military ruck uh, rucksack at some point. But I know that that's a lot to ask for, too. Oh, duh. What the heck? Which one did I press? Oh. There we go. Um, long sleeve. Nice. Improving the fit. Damaged it. Repaired it. And made it sturdy. Uh, sturdy. All right, and that that helps a lot for like encumbrance and whatnot when you make it uh, help it fit. That makes a huge difference. So let's give it a shot in the military rucksack. I'm a little nervous, but oh boy, and I destroyed it. You've got to be kidding me. Doing so well on everything else, and then I destroy the military rucksack. Wow, what a crap show is that. I'm way over on my volume now. Well. It's alright, I'll just have to make a backpack, which I luckily can. Twenty rags though, let's do it. Uh, 
Interesting. Oh, all my items ran. I dropped on the ground. Okay, let's try it again. Really? Because I didn't have the space for them? I guess. I seem to have messed everything up when that happened. Try it again. Okay, we crafted it. Go ahead and wear it. That helps a little bit. It's not as good, but... Actually, it's not bad. Um, I think mainly because the backpack's a little bit nicer uh, in condition than the military rucksack was. But had I finished the military rucksack, that would have been super, uh, super good. All right, need some BLTs. Actually, why don't I go ahead and warm some stuff up on the fire? Okay, I can make a cheese sandwich, so we'll do it. Oh, it's not hot though, is it? But it's fresh. We're very thirsty. Uh, what do we got to drink? Anything good other than water? Do we have, we got some apple cider. Apple cider is delicious. Anybody else like apple cider? I love apple cider. I'm sorry to kind of just randomly come out and say that, but I really do enjoy apple cider a lot. All right. You know, I might as well. I'm half tempted to see if I use a bandage on my torso. Does that help at all? No. Not with any of these, okay. But I know a med kit would, but how many do I have? Or first aid kit? I've only got two of them, so I better keep them on me. So I guess we're just going to have to use sleep to really deal with it. Taloring is at 3 out of 33%. All right. Charges, I got 65. All right, let's go ahead and do some messing around in our safe house here. We'll grab the rest of these 2x4 rags. Go ahead and smash this mattress. Grab this stuff. I'm going to go ahead and toss the splintered wood right on there. 2x4 is down. We'll put the rags right here in the crafting area. And nails will go with the nails for now. Nails will be for crafting, uh, I don't know, furniture or something. I might need them for stuff in the future. More rags. I noticed that we don't seem to see the zombies as much upstairs as we did before. I gotta wonder if they stop moving around. All right, and one last run. Two two by fours. What do we got in here? Panties, sweater, leather belt, bra, panties. Okay, nothing crazy. Two by fours. Drop some more splintered wood in the fire. Two more two by fours. <sighs> All right. Um, go ahead and do a little bit more crafting. Work on him, proving our backpack a little bit. Because getting the backpack to fit. Getting the backpack to fit is actually a pretty big deal. Because the backpack always gives you massive encumbrance. And any type of pack does. Although I know a lot of it, a lot of that is because of the SWAT vest I have on. If you guys remember, I picked up a SWAT vest. Which, by the way, would, would have been crazy if I didn't. 
But you know what would really help? If I could get that SWAT vest brought in so that it fits better. But I'm sure it takes like Kevlar and like leather or some ridiculous thing like that. We could take a look and see what it takes. But I don't doubt that it's not like some crazy stuff. Why don't we give it a shot and see what it says? Oh, crap. Still the log on there. The log will burn for a while. See, it'll tell us what it needs. Oh, okay, maybe it won't burn for a while. Okay, we'll throw two two by fours on there. Maybe it'll burn if I get the two by fours in there and get it started first. Maybe the log was too much. Survival, your skill in survival has increased to one. Good. I see piercing weapons is starting to drop, but I can't afford to go upstairs and raise that. So we're just not going to take any chances. Wait. Backpack, SWAT armor, pair of binoculars, long sleeve shirt. I know the SWAT armor could hold some stuff. That's not bad. Comfort is 25, though. A pair of binoculars gives me encumbrance. This is strapped onto you. This is very bulky. Man, I don't have to have the binoculars strapped onto me. It could just be in my inventory. I mean, I know it saves me space, but um, I really don't want the encumbrance if I can help it. <sighs> Why are my legs over encumbered? Army pants, a sheath. I guess SWAT armor is all on my legs too. It's the winter pants. Coverage 12. SWAT armor is no good too. If I get all of that stuff, if I could get it to fit better, that would really make a difference. So that's something I need to really work on. Oh man, it looks like it is going to help me. Oh, it already does fit. Well, can I reinforce it then? Oh boy, damage it, repair it. Damage it, repair it. It's back and forth with this one. Oh boy. Oh boy, okay. Alright, we'll try it on something else. I don't want to damage that. I'm going to have to wait now until I'm in better condition. I do not want to damage that. That log's... Oh, it's burnt, okay. It's just a lot of repairing armor and practicing and whatnot. Because. This stuff is super important. Being able to repair the, the really good clothing you find is really, really important. But reinforcing and, reinforcing and helping clothing to fit you better is probably like one of the most important things in the game, to be honest with you. I consider it to be one of the most important things in the game. But we are tired and hungry now, so let's go ahead and... Oh, we've got the yogurt that rotted. That's really sad. Well, let's go drop off all this stuff in the fridge for now. I think the fridge is still running. Well, there's one way we can check and see. Oh, it doesn't look like it is. Okay. We're going to need to keep eating this stuff then. 
So let's go ahead and do that. Before the stuff goes bad. Man, we could just drink some clean water. All right, let's go ahead and now that we're tired though, luckily we can get some sleep. And that'll get us nice and healed up for the next day's adventures. Beautiful, I love it. And we woke up at 11 o'clock at night, which is good because uh, we're fully healed. And we're ready to go, but we were going to have to save that for next episode as we are out of time. So, a little uneventful of an episode, as I mentioned it probably would be, but we were super uh, damaged um, health-wise, so it wouldn't have been safe to leave the house. But now that we're fully healed up and ready to go, we're going to head back to the surface and do a little bit ex more uh, exploring Well, it's dark. So, I want to thank you guys for joining me. I do hope that you enjoyed this episode. I look forward to seeing you next time.